I need to get this off my chest before I go to sleep. I've grown tired of including words like COVID-19, lockdown, and quarantine in my videos. I figured Do we need to feed the fear? I don't know what what other people are up to when it comes to this pandemic. I don't know why China withheld information before it before it released before it before it, before it actually was released i don't know why the who is not holding them accountable for that and i don't actually know how the virus spread that fast it spread to people without any travel history or even medical ex or I don't even know why medical experts wouldn't admit that this virus, that the SARS-CoV-2 virus, can be airborne. Hindi no mag spread ng ganyan yan kung hindi airborne yan eh. I'm using my brain cells right now. And now, the Luzon lockdown has been extended. I live in Region 4A, so we're going to experience this lockdown until May 15, with no chance of downgrading it to G to at least a GCQ status. And I'm going to... Pake ko kung may COVID-19. Pake ko kung may lockdown. Pake ko kung may ordinance na na nililimitahan tayo to twice a week sa pagbili ng mga essentials natin. This shouldn't concern me. I don't know about you. This should not concern me. Because I am always at home. I'm always at home. All the media, all the mainstream media is doing right now is feeding the fear. If you feel you're healthy enough, there's no need to there's no need to fear this virus. Baka nakakalimutan natin. Baka nakakalimutan nyo. SARS-CoV-2 is a flu strain. Alright. So, the usual flu symptoms will appear. No. COVID-19 also has, also, is also accompanied by diarrhea in some cases. Sabihin natin. Okay, the virus is real. The pandemic is real. The deaths are real. Pero, kamatayin lang ba tinitignan natin? Paano yung mga nakarecover na? According to the latest DOH stats, the recoveries now outnumber the deaths by, it, by almost three times the deaths. Isn't that good news? If that's not good news to you, to you, then I do not know what is. 
Kaya, eh ano ngayon kung may COVID-19? Eh ano ngayon? It shouldn't be our concern anymore. We are only feeding the fear. And we are only satisfying those fear mongers who initiated this. I don't know who they are. But they walk among us. Kaya, this will probably be the last time you will see me use any word related to COVID-19. This is the last video. Itaga nyo sa batuyan. Because I have grown fucking tired of including those words in my videos just to just to promote the WHO's directive on on that disease, on that virus just to help spread the word I did spread the word but I also fueled the fear it's okay to arm yourself with the information but do you have to submit yourself to the fear this crisis is causing? Kailangan pa ba? Ha? Huh? Kailangan pa ba? When all of this is said and done, COVID-19 won't be the number one killer. It will be stress. History has proven that time and again. Stress will always be the cause of a heart attack. Stress will also will always be the cause of a stroke. Stress will also will always be the number one reason why someone would be committed to a mental facility. And God forbid, stress will also be the number one reason why the SARS-CoV-2 virus will be reactivated. No one can deny how deadly stress is. Fear fuels stress. Again, when all this is said and done, stress will be the number one killer. Not COVID-19. So here's my parting shot to everyone who fears the virus. All of you can read, don't you? 